the clear bright sky tonight so serene yeah come let's sing on to the highest while we'll sit around this fire follow your heart This beach is absolutely huge and gorgeous. <clears throat> Today is my first full day in Malta. I woke up at around 9am, then met my host in the breakfast room, the kitchen, and he made delicious Canadian pancakes. So that's great. Then we got talking about Malta and just where to go, where to see, what's worth doing. He gave me some great advice. I'm gonna go to those places during my stay. Really nice stuff. I really love Sebastian, my host. And then he decided to take us out to Dingy, but first we had to collect his carrot in Valletta. So we took a bus to Valletta, really short, it was like 25 minutes maybe, and it cost one euro and 50 cent. That was the bus. And from Valletta, he drove us down to Dingy, which is on the west side of Malta. And they're pretty nice cliffs, but you really need to be out on the water to see the whole scale and size of them. Regardless, after that he brought us to his beach. I'm going to butcher the name, but this beach is amazing. And right on the other side of it, so... You have a car park. Pretend you're the coast. Then you have this beach and you have another beach. One of them is the beach that I went to and the other is Golden Bay. That's meant to be one of the best in Malta as well. But I just prefer the beach I was at because it was quite quiet and the water was super warm. I may have kind of went for a bit of a dip, really enjoyed it. Now, my plan is to walk to St. Paul's Bay or maybe get a bus, then explore that, go to that beach and go to see Solo with my host. So this beach is called Gnena Bay but sometimes it's called Riv Riviera Bay, either or it's the same beach and it's fabulous, I love it. Now I'm in a bit of a dilemma, you see those buildings right there, that's the beach I came from. Took maybe like 10 minutes to walk here. I'm considering walking along this path, all the way down there to that coast, because that is St. Paul's Bay. I could also take a bus for 150, but I'm, I'm feeling the walk to be honest. Yeah, like the weather is amazing and my feet are still young. What can I say? About a third of the way, I'm pretty committed. I'm making this walk. It's happening. Mark down my words. I guess it's official. I kind of made it to St. Paul's Bay. And it's meant to be one of the most British parts of Malta. There's a lot of British here. It's British shops, British cafes, British beers. Very British. 